Now, if you're doing stainless steel, this is some 304 stainless. Even on stainless, I try and give myself just a little bit of a gap right here. You allow that steel to breathe just a little bit when you weld. I'm going to use a 308 stainless steel TIG rod. You can use a 316. Some of you aircraft guys welding that stainless, 347. That's all in the instructional book. All right, now when you weld steel, wherever metal but uh, stainless, use a neutral flame. Stainless a carburizing flame. All that means is that you're using a little bit more acetylene, so you run that flame out about two to three times longer than that little inner cone. All right, the same way. Now, you can still use a dip-in, dip-out action if you want, but just lay that rod right down on the metal. All right, now I'm still using that little inner cone to weld with right here. You're just keeping that little cone, just sort of walking up the rod, washing it right back in the puddle. All right, now stainless, because of the carburizing flame, will be just a little dark. So you get a dark content, you get 100% penetration, very little metal movement. But as you can see right here, I have a piece that actually cleans up very nice. You can use jeweler's rouge, a buffing wheel, and clean it up very nicely right here.